Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be working on the Lego City. In particular, we're going to be improving the boatyard. But ah, it's such a mess here. That's because we've been using it as a dumping ground as we've been working on the Brixie Wall. But I have some really exciting plans for this area here today, and I'm really excited to show you. First thing I'm going to do is clean this place up. Got uh, Pirates of Barracuda Bay off the table there and out of the way. Palpatine and put him with the other Sith arts. I can see clearly now that the Siths are gone. Let's get this big old tub of bricks put under there. Get our boats up onto dry land. But wait a minute, I just built this boat dock. It's too similar to the old Lego city, so we're changing it up. I'm not getting rid of it, but we're definitely changing it up. It might seem weird right now, but I'm actually moving it outward, so it's on the edge of the table. So by moving the boat dock to the edge of the table there, it allows larger boats to come in this side there and use this raised surface right here as a dock. And that's where the larger industrial style boats will go. Speaking of industrial boats, Check out this amazing addition to our boatyard. This is from 1991, set number 6542. It's called the Launch and Load Seaport. Comes with a container ship here. Also this platform, the overhead crane. And this overhead crane is actually on wheels, so it can sit on the platform. And then also this little check-in zone right here as well. And this was gifted to me by a local fan, <clears throat> Stingbrick. Thank you so much. Absolutely incredible. I'm blown away and it was actually perfect time as we're looking to build this today. So that's awesome. Thank you so much, Stingbrick. So I like the position of that new set. Oh, wait a minute. It's not new. It's actually from 1991. Hey! It's actually as old as me. What a coincidence. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. I, I really like that. An overhead crane. I'd like to get some more overhead cranes for this area as well. One other change I'm gonna to do to the boat dock here is I'm actually gonna remove the railing that I put on there. Some people from Florida who have seen a lot more boat docks than me, no boat docks around here, said that the railing really isn't authentic. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove our entire brown railing. I thought it added a nice aesthetic to the boat dock. However, it didn't really make sense because when different sizes of boats pull up, the entrance might not line up to the most optimal position to access the boat. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of that. Just pulled up my big bin of brackets there and extracted a bunch of these here because I decided to remove the black tiles from the top of the dock. And I'm gonna continue this pattern here. These are like the bumpers that the boat will pull up to. So I'm going to put those on all the sides where the boats can pull up and dock. So I just finished adding the bumpers there and I'm already thinking of changing it because our cleats, that's what you would tie the boat down on, actually stick out a little bit further than the bumper, which really wouldn't make sense because then you would just snag the hull of your ship on the cleat. So I'm thinking of changing it and having the cleat like so, so it's actually positioned vertically just like that there, and we'll add a plate in behind the bumper so that it actually comes out one plate further and then the cleat doesn't uh, run into the hull of the ship. So I think I'm gonna run with this design here and we're gonna put a cleat every single space between each bumper. It's too bad I don't have any more of those brackets in black. I have to use some yellow ones, but I think it looks pretty good with the alternating bumper and cleat. But oh no, I'm not done. There are many of them to change. Hey, speaking of boats, I just got back from Toys R Us and picked this up on sale. It's gonna be a party. Got the boat docks looking consistent now with both the cleat and bumpers. I've also added a ramp and which is a drawbridge style ramp. You can see it's on a hinge just like that there so it can be hinged or brought up. And what I wanna do is build some sort of overhead device 
so that it can be lifted like a drawbridge using a cable. And I gotta figure that out. So that's something that'll be in a future update. But there's a couple other things that we need to touch on here. We need to get some more boats in here. Also, I'm gonna fill this space. Well, I'm gonna put some stuff there that's gonna be a placeholder for future mocks. So my intention is to fill this area here with a large warehouse that has a couple garage doors that can be accessed on either side. So you could offload cargo there and haul it away in a big semi, such as this one here. Obviously that is a rough draft and we can play around with the color combinations as we took all the reddish brown off of the boat docks. So I'd definitely be able to build a reddish brown warehouse right there. That would look pretty good. You're probably asking yourself, well, what on earth is he going to do with Pirates of Barracuda Bay now? I've actually decided to take apart the Barracuda Bay, which is the shipwreck of the classic Black Seas Barracuda pirate ship. Whoo, it looks great. Let's put it in some water. Evidently, this guy right here is a superior captain and knows how to steer this big vessel. I'm probably going to use the parts and pieces from the Pirates of Barracuda Bay Island to improve the look of our beach where we have one lonely beachgoer. <laughs> it's Marissa. <laughs> Actually, you know, this guy's getting attacked by sharks. And there's Moana. Three, I guess. Slowly but surely, I'm becoming more and more satisfied with this area over here. I think the changes we made today are fantastic. Well, actually, over the course of the last few days. So we moved those boat docks out. We added this ramp here or drawbridge, which I really need to improve. I want to get some more ideas flowing for that, but it looks good for now. I like how boats can now make their way around the dock here. Also this large overhead crane is pretty neat. Thank you so much once again, Stingbrick for that. That's, that's fantastic. But by doing this, we're able to fit a lot more boats and it looks great. I'm really happy that I decided to convert Pirates of Barracuda Bay into the Black Seas Barracuda. It looks amazing. Like that pirate ship is awesome. Uh, the next mock that we'll be working on, I guess, is this right here, which will be a warehouse with two large garage doors so that we can uh, offload and transport cargo from there. So I'll have to work on the positioning of that. And we'll also have to work on the design of that as well. I also have to position the uh, shrimp shack diner right there. So we'll have to position that somewhere in this area. And then obviously I'd like to add some more action in here. You'll notice that there's no minifigures yet. I do minifigures last because, well, they just get in the way when you make changes like this and, and I don't place minifigures or work on refined details like, you know, plants, bushes, cliff edges, stuff like that along here until it's 100% met my satisfaction because that stuff takes a very long time to do. And when you want to make big changes like this, you find yourself destroying what you already did. So in all of my years of Lego building, I've discovered that, hey, minifigures and refined details, they come last after you're satisfied with the area. Otherwise you find yourself just burning hours and hours of time. So essentially this raised table here, there's a ramp that leads down. There's access to the boat launch there. You got the old fishing store. You can access the boat docks there. Also, that can be uh, drawn up so that the boats can pass through. And now we have some large cargo bays here and we'll work on a mock in the near future. So that's what we have got going for the industrial boat yard 
right now. Uh, obviously, there's still lots of work to do, and I can't wait to do that with you in the near future. Let me know what you think by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.